Costa is brought to you by FQM Trident Limited, a subsidiary of First Quantum Minerals Limited. Addressed to the nation last week, President Hagainde Hichilema ordered the immediate arrest of cadres from the United Party for National Development who used his name to take to streets in Lusaka damaged property. Speaking during this press conference at State House, the president stated that any cadre engaging in looting, making disparaging remarks, and political hooliganism while claiming to have his support should be arrested and jailed. He warned that the Zambia army would be called in to restore law and order if the Zambia police continued to fail to control hooliganism and violent activities by certain sectors of the political cadre. This incident comes shortly after UPND youth cadres dressed in UPND regalia were seen marching by the DC officers uttering insults as former First Lady Esther Lungu appeared for questioning. Tonight, on a special edition of Costa, I'll be joined by the chairperson of the youth wing of the ruling party, the UPND, to discuss the resurgence of political hooliganism and violence amongst cadres. Welcome to Costa with me, Costa Monsa. Gilbert Liswaniso is chairperson of the UPND's National Youth Wing. He's my guest on Costa this evening. Remember that you can also catch us live on our online stream. It's Diamond TV Zambia, both on Facebook and YouTube. It's DSTV 271 and Go TV Channel 20. Chairperson Liswaniso, it's a pleasure to host you and uh, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Costa Monsa. Long time, my colleague. Well, long time indeed. Sure. And uh, obviously, uh, a tough time for you. Uh, obviously, uh, having to look at uh, a number of youth issues with thousands of young people looking for employment and empowerment across the country. How's that going for you? I want to agree with you that because uh, it's a country of the young generation, mm. we are the majority now in this nation, and also I still feel pity for my friend Agarinde because he's dealing with the young people once now, not tomorrow, or don't believe of investing, no, they want it today. So it's not easy, but again I want to appreciate <coughs> Prenda Agarinde because he has seen that there's potential among the young people, the youth, the human resource. How can we use this human resource for the next generation? So we, the young people of today, we need to take responsibility to ensure that we participate in the economical uh, things among ourselves in this country. And we are, we are doing it. I can see some signs somewhere there, despite some hardship, the challenges we have as a nation, but I can see how the vision of the plan the part where is pushing us collectively all of us to till the land to participate in small businesses is trying by the best to push us in that way it's not easy because uh, we have been brought up in that way as a nation that when a politician stands on the podium will tell you, I will do this for you. But I think Prenda Kainde is changing the mindset of us, the young people, that we need to participate collectively, all of us. So it's not easy, because I want to admit you, to uh, within two years to ensure that you move together with the youth, you need to talk to them, you need to calm them. When Prenda Kainde actually my strength by all means to create wealth for this nation that everybody is happy. Despite that, also, we appreciate the government that in terms of those who have gone to school, teachers, nurses, I'm able to see that they're getting employment. Number one, which I need to appreciate as a nationalist chairman is that there is a fair way of giving jobs to the young people. 
are participating on their own, that they advertise even 10 jobs, even 15 jobs, I can sue advertisement people, they go and kill in lines, most of them. Also, it gives a, a homework to the president and the cabinet that we have a huge, huge challenge as a nation in terms of young people looking for opportunities through these jobs which are being created when given to them because we are still looking at the main numbers of the people. Maybe secondly, also, we need to go back to SME, all of us, in terms of businesses where now the government should ensure that the, the level to do businesses in, in in our country, the young ones, those who are doing a barber shop, those who are doing in the butchery, those who are doing carpentry, welding, how do we help them? And that's maybe the focus of the president now that everybody should be happy in this nation. So the challenge is huge, but I think the party, the president himself and his team, they're equal to the task to ensure that this country called Zambia, the young people themselves, they should appreciate and having the benefit from their president. Let's quickly tackle the elephant in the room. It's two years, eight months. The whole basis of ushering your party, the UPND, into office was that PF was a violent party in terms of caderism, thuggery, uh, assaulting people in bus stations and public spaces such as markets, maiming people, sadly to an extent that during political activities, lives were even lost. Panga wielding, machete wielding, gun taunting. Those are the type of scenes that Zambians really didn't want. Last week, Lusaka was being painted, parts of Lusaka rather were being painted red, and that ugly picture is beginning to resurface. What's going on, Gilbert? First of all, of course, I don't want to justify, but the question is, after winning an election, what lessons are we learned from our colleagues, despite condemning the PF? But what lessons are we learning as a party in government, we leaders, the youth themselves, what made the PF to be voted out? One of them to do with corruption. Number two, it was the issue of violence, which I've already mentioned that every section in this nation, though the group of young people, thugs, who were beating people in the markets, every section, these things, we, we, we saw it ourselves. We had that experience. Personally, me, I, can, I know that things happened to all of us, members of the UPN. It was not easy even just have five people having a meeting, and this thing costed PF at the end of the day. To us, two years in the line, we have tried, the president has tried himself, we have seen, and I keep on telling people, and even you, Costa, I'll tell you, when you hear the president say, you are on your own, that message always comes to us, the members of the European, because he understands us. When he say the rule of law, mostly it's targeting us, the members of the European, because he understands us very well, that if I leave loose the youth of the European, they may cause harm in this nation. It is us, the young people of the European, who can disturb the governor of Prentaka and HM and his vision and also because we want to leave a legacy in this nation. So it is us, the young people of the European. Yes, it is us who fought with him. We gave that, uh, that that all whatever we had. It is us most who were being arrested. It is us, the young people who died in the thing. It is us, the young people and the women who lost the business. All of us. But even him as a Republican president, by then when he was in opposition, he went through the process. Everybody the new PND, every leader went in that process of being tortured, being arrested, receiving tear gas, pangas. All of us we went through. Examples we can say that many say shake, all those things whereby I spent three hours, four hours in the bush because of the same political violence and everything. So should we do it as a party in government? Personally, as a nationalist chairman, I'm saying no. And these are the things, Costa, which I've tried my best within uh, two years to help the government, to help help the president, his message, to ensure that the young people, they stay away from violence, but listening what the people are saying mm. on the ground. So what really happened, you know, Mr. Lissoniso, last week, were these your cadres? Because during the DEC incident, you distanced yourself from those young people insulting Ed Galungu and the former first lady. But it had to take a president to hold a press briefing to say those should be arrested. Are these your members? What happened first, during that funeral procession? First of all, I, 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 I'll marry the two. Mm -hmm. The issue of the deck. Mm. Uh, for me, I, being your national youth chairman, Costa, I will not come on the TV station to come and massage a problem. Those were UPN youths. That's why 
I hold a press conference first of all to say no one send them to do that because you cannot insult an elderly person. I think on that one, all of us, through the chairman of the party, the secretary general was upset with us. But do you, do, do you, do you really think, Gilbert, that we can believe that these young people will book buses buy themselves this alcohol and go to DC on their own uh, without uh, an instruction uh, of a senior uh, party uh, member? Is that, is that what you're telling us? I now answer you, and I repeat, I hold a press conference, mm. first of all, to condemn, and I said, we're going to investigate. After you sent them, you, no, you, you, no you then sugar-coated? It's not a sugar-coating. Mm. No one sent them. Mm. Okay, let me say I sent them. Let me say, okay, if I sent them, mm. do they send them to go and insult? The answer is no. Let me take that here. If I send them, mm. should I go and hold another press conference because I'm doing politics? I think that one, it will not help us collectively, all of us. Mm. So the issue is these are young people who have gone through. And if you have seen Costa, <coughs> in a one week, two weeks, you have seen the other camp, especially him at the head, the former head of state, how he conducted themselves. Because we wanted to know what prompted those young people to do such. And if you hear those who were there, even other journalists, that was a group of young people, most of them, who had scars on their bodies, who were tortured. They explained, but we told them that that's not a root. Yes, Edgar Chagalungu and his team did this to you. But you have no right to stand to go and insult an elderly person. If you had an issue with the head of state, the former head of state, there's a channel whom you should use when you can go to the police to open those cases. But you agree they are your members? I stood, I've said here, mm, they are our members. members. And the stance we made before even the announce of the president, mm. we communicated all of us as a party through the chairman of the party, with the disciplinary, the SG, to say these people should be expelled. And we gave the names. That's why even the president has to say that this should be those who have been found in all of them, the door is open for them. And if you heard the head of state, what he said, I don't want to be supported by Thagari. We can't do what PF was doing. And he mentioned, even those who insulted, if he was a bad head of state, I don't think he would mention that, he said. But I, want to, I don't want to justify. Because there is something which I've seen, that when you are trying to incite the young people, because you, un you don't understand what we have as a party. In the past seven days or two weeks, you saw uh, the former head of state went into town and there was more noise. I was a victim as a national youth chairman. Lusaka, uh, you, you were a victim in what yeah, sense? Uh, I, I, I was a victim. Mm. He's insulting, he's doing this. I could see on the social media everybody. Lusaka, what I said, do you know what we are carrying? Do you know why the head of state said, leave these young people to stay there? And I'm saying this to you because I understand that my job every day is to stop violence. Because the people who used to hack us, their neighbors will stay with them. We know them by their name. So when somebody is using a bad language there, you are provoking somebody who is a neighbor there, whom already ourselves as leaders in the party, from the national level at the world level, we have already negotiated that these are not the ones they were just being sent by their leaders. So, 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 so we are trying by mm. all means to make peace there. Mm. So make me understand something. Your job every day is to stop violence. Violence between who? Because the PF who we said were violent have been booted out through the ballot in an election. Mm. The UPND come into government. Mm. They control the police. They control. Now the president is saying if this continues, we'll bring the army. You assured us in two years, and one of the things that you boast about is that we've brought back the rule of law and order. There's no caderism. There's no thuggery in markets and bus stops. Mm. So you're stopping violence against who? Who are the perpetrators? And, 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 and I'll tell you this, uh, Costa, mm. that in the two years, if you say that it's only on seven days, which you have mentioned to me here, where were they, these youths? That's why I've asked you. So I'm asking I've that asked question. you, Gilbert. And what I, happened yes, last week? So I'm asking all Zambian people today, mm. if in two years and a half, all of us were quiet, what has happened within seven days? So don't provoke again the young people. Who is provoking hey, the young people? The same head of state, the former head of state. How? How is he provoking? First of all, his message, mm. okay? If he's telling us to say that I'll continue provoking you, 
I'm going to continue pushing you. So the young people forgot about he has stitches here, which was hacked. He's remembering, oh, this man wants to come back again. And his language he's using is that one to fight. Do you think that person will sit down? He won't wait for the head of state, you know. They'll come and regroup. Okay? Then you're giving me now. The issue is not about even Mr. Edgar Chagwalung. Because I want to tell you, for me, I don't care about Mr. Edgar Chagwalung. Me, the one I care most is the support of PF. That one who took a pang and hacked this one. How do I make them to have peace? Mm. My job is to see that one who got a shop, who chased the LPN when we know. That, that's where my interest is. And that's the interest of every leader in UPN that those that should continue living together. So, 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 so what now, that one now in top with the owner of a party called Uka now. He stands up mm. using those provocation now. Now you are inciting these other people to come. To uh, well, these are I, 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 really, I really don't understand the provocation you talk about, Gilbert, this evening. But, but may, uh, are you trying to tell us that as long as former president Edgar Lungu, who is a Zambian citizen, mm. who has got every constitutional right to mm. participate in the affairs of this country, whether he, he wants to come back or not, should not be the prerogative of the UPND youth. So you're saying that as long as Edgar Chagalungu wants to come back, UPND youths will turn violent. And let me say this. Is that what you're saying? Let me say this. Mm. No one stops Mr. Edgar Lungu to come up. He has come, already come into mm. politics, and he does his politics. Mm. Every day does his politics. Mm. But, but that our, is in sense uh, UPND Let me tell you now, mm. let me tell you, there are certain things Mr. Edgar Chagualung should not say. Mr. Edgar Chagualung is not like me and you. It's not like Mr. Kalaba or Mr. Membe, who was once holding this <coughs> position of the president for seven years. So there are certain messages which he's supposed to avoid, much as he's doing politics. But also, when he goes into politics, he should understand that the environment of politics also, the young people of the UPN across the country, also they will do politics to him because now he has come into politics. So there are two, things that, 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 that two different things here. He has come into politics, but he has a status which we need to respect collectively, all of us, even him as an individual. There are certain things he cannot say as an individual. He understands that because he's holding the president of this country for almost seven years. But he has come into politics, he can do checks and balances to his brother. That one has no issues to do with it. But if you have seen his statement, it's that of inciting. So when you are inciting, you should understand the other area also, they may rise. At the end of the day, they are giving us difficulties. But I want to assure you, Costa, today, and assuring the Zambian people to say that, there is peace. Do your politics. Mm. I'll the, still, the, the I'll, one we, the, I'll, I'll still ask my question, Mr. Luis Nuiso, this evening. Mm. What happened? What was that all about last week on Tuesday during a funeral procession? Was it provoked by Mr. Edgar Lungo? And are you saying tonight that uh, that for you, the UPND I, I, youth, as long as Mr. Lungo wants to come back into politics, you will be violent I, to show him politics? You, there's nothing to do with violence. Violence cannot win you an election. Because I want to tell you this. Mm. Hey, violence cannot win you an election. Election. No matter how you're going to do it, it just makes you lose. As I said, there are certain things which we have learned as a party in government which we will never do. But I want to tell you that if you call National Youth Chairman to be a weaker national leader, you call the Lusaka province, Lusaka district to be weaker, then we'll show you the other side that we are strong. I think that's what that, that number that, one, that number is one. What that was all and, about. And you sent and you sent thugs on the street First to harass you, innocent people to show you. Edgar Lungu that you're strong. I'm not going here mm. to massage mm. or to deny or what. Number one, no one, no one rooted anybody's shop. I've asked everybody to give me the videos. The people were concerned about the young people climbing on the buses. Those are voters, okay, pushing vehicles and everything, which we have admitted all of us. You get the point. And even we told the young people it's not to do that, just to all of us. We go in numbers. We go and celebrate our fellow leader who brought us all together, the young people here in Osaka, Brian Mizinga. Let's go. And I was just showing you the other side of the National Youth Chairman. Mwarila, Pamina Pakosta, no Kadalism, Kadalism. The question should ask no, Kosta it's, today. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, Kosta. it's not an aspect of Mwarila. No, no, no. It's a matter of following the, 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 uh, the, the issue law. Is, the issue is, you are talking to it's, the National Youth Chairman. It's not an issue chairman. of Kulila, but the issue if, you are talking to the National Youth Chairman here, mm, mm. who is in charge of them, mm. who understands them. So you them. admit you sent them to show, so, to show that you are powerful. Let me tell you first, mm. we went to the funeral, all of us. Mm. The conduct of the youth who are 
among ourselves who, don't, who have in this place, which already have done, you have seen almost 80 of them that are in cells. Others have been seen with a, a great robbery. Not sparing anybody because they could not hear the direction of how we want to do, how, how to mourn all of us. But I'm saying, we cannot go forward to say that these youths have done this, this, no. The question here is, are we able to maintain peace as UPND? We are able to do it. But don't come and incite, because when you are inciting, I'm just human, these youths can overrun everything. Mm. But the good part of it that this National Youth Chairman, when things are wrong, I admit, I do things rightly, and I show the way to do. If I was like in PF, they would say, those are not UPN. I've stayed ever on Tuesday. So, so, there's nothing so, to so, what ha so what happened there's on that, what happened on, what Tuesday happened on that say Tuesday? those are PF, mm. those are UPN. You admit? Youth. Yes, and I'm, I'm you, and, and you're the one Even who sent today. them. We went to the funeral, all mm. of us. We just say no. When I'm with so them, you should be the first one to be arrested. I then. can't be arrested mm. or something. Mm. We are going to the funeral, all of us. Why should they be arrested? Mm. You can only arrest somebody mm. who has been seen on the scene doing the same. Mm. And we're in a church with the vice president. Okay? You can only arrest me to say because of Abu Kumarilo was. Can I stop somebody to come to the funeral? You can't. No, but you are okay? saying. So the you, conduct you, you, of you, the. You sent them to show that you're not weak. No, no. I want to tell you that mm. you should see the other side. Of you being or, strong. Or, or, all of them should show the other side that mm. when you see the youth are quiet, all of them, mm. don't see the weakness. This is a weakness, meaning your leaders in the party UPA. Your but, leader, but, that guy in the Chile, but, is doing something. No, no, no. But, just but, but then, Mr. Youth Chairman, what you're telling us is that you're, you, you're also now daring or playing with fire Let me to, 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 to show your muscle uh, around. First, first of all, mm. the, that's what I've said. Did he beat anybody? I've said, I've, 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 been, I've been looking for videos all over here because all of us were dancing in a tune of the opposition that the one who gave you those videos. But Emmanuel Mwamba could not produce a video of a UPN member beating people in the very thing. No one. Of all the videos which we are seeing circulating are from Ukwa. All of us, we understand that. Even the issue of Baolin, the one who is created at Baolin is Tom Tiger, who is a PF, who is, in fact, him is a culprit there. He's a culprit, Tom Tiger, there in Baolin. He's a culprit so, of so, Baolin. So on, one, on, 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 day, so on one hand, you admit that those that were unruly were your members, let me tell you, sent by you, but you're now accusing you. no, your, no, your political no, opponents no, of because, being the ones spreading force. Let me tell you. So what are you telling? For, for me, I'm just saying the truth mm. here because I've said, I've mentioned to each and everybody to say, can you show me where the use of your people? So, in moving forward, you, you, you deny there was no looting of shops, you deny there was no harassment of people, yes. and you support their behavior that day. I don't support their behavior. I've said the culprit in certain areas, I've said it's not only that day you talked about insulting the former head of state's wife. Did you take an action? That's why we have taken a more action and expel even members. You are going to see it. You have seen the police issuing a statement. We have arrested this number. They are there, you can go, Costa. Mm. These are UPN members. I don't want to cheat. These are UPN members who did that. Why are we doing that? Is to send a warning to each and everybody. They belong to me. But if I haven't told you to do that, don't do it. So, you so, can only so, do that. Yeah. Uh, hang on just from there. Yeah. I want to answer a question. You can only do that when there's instruction from the National Chairman, from the Provincial Chairman, from the district, from the constituents. The instruction we had collective, all of us, is that we are going to mourn Mizinga. But don't disturb people. We're people. going to mourn Mizinga how? By going with him, take him to... Memorial Park, which we did. Mm. But in the process, because people were not happy, jumping in the buses everywhere because they were thinking now, ah, how PF traumatize us. Again, these things is coming back. That's why I'm asking a question, Costa, and asking that many people, asking the police and everybody. In two years, all this two up to this day, did you see these things? So the Mr. answer is no. Mr. How Mr. many Mr. 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 Youth Chairperson, Mr. Youth Chairperson, this country does not belong only to PF and the UPND. Mm -hmm. So it's very unfair for you as a youth chairperson sitting on a battalion of young people that if one Edgar Lungu says Gilbert Lisponiso is weak and you use a funeral to show that, that, that you are strong. That's one. Two, what about those young people that went to disturb Shala Katek and the New Heritage Party in Chipata compound in full presence of police? And I'll say... Who this, are those? And, and I'll tell you that. Mm. Over the Mandev issue, mm. Costa, and I want to get a right information. When you go to Mandevu, there is an office of UPND. 
and we never at Mutambe. Let's be factual, all of us. Kateka issued a statement before the rally. No cadres, they would want to come and disrupt our rally. Yet when he moves to Chipata compound, he found the cadres always at the office of the UPND. That's not fair. If you don't have people, don't have people. If you ask the police very clearly, they'll tell you that the UPN were never near anywhere. They were at the office of the... We can't stop us. That is our office where we found all of us. So you cannot use it that we're going to stop your rally. No, just you have your rally, have your meeting. So who, How many so meetings? So who were those youth and I still at repeat, that part of and, and I've said that there was no UPN card at that ground. The UPN card that were at the office of the UPN in Mandev. Even when I speak with you here, you're going to find them. Every day they are there. Those who are doing to each to do with the cooperative, those who are doing to do with the, the one baby CC, the one, all those things. That's why they go there. And there are numbers of women every day, Costa, you're mm -hmm. going to find them. So don't get that group which is found there at the office. You want to say they're going to Mtam. That's not fair. But because we are doing politics in Indari, we have no issues to do with those in Indari. But if really our responsibility as leaders in UPND is to bring violence to the people of Zambia, which we will never do, and we will never do it. Mm -hmm. That's why we are saying there should be only one command of information according to us as leaders in the party and bring discipline. So for me, I've said, don't incite. And I repeat to use this platform to say that, don't incite. When you are inciting, these young people, some of them, they still have something. They'll come in numbers. And me, I'm just a national youth chairman. Bande just a provincial youth chairman. Zimba just a this youth chairman. And they've got constituencies. These have got numbers all over. So when you are inciting them, they can come in numbers. They may disturb. But we have taken, that's why we have taken now a principle that to say we, we are not going to be taking people to the police. When you just make any error to do with violence, we expel from the party. We have done it so. We did it in Mkushi. Today we are doing it here in Osaka. Because the police are Zangia and Akuchoka. But when you expel somebody from the party, you are distanced because mm -hmm. you have no power. No matter how powerful but, 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 but in this whole thing, you know, the way you speak, you know, Mr. Liswani, so it's like um, the country should really be, be, be thanking you or in another way be scared that if, if, if we do not mind as political, uh, if political players in this country do not mind the way they speak, mm. uh, anything is possible. You can unleash, you can unleash uh, your, your thugs on anybody. So, <laughs> so we should be thanking you that uh, the, last two years, the last two years you've been but, doing but, a good but, job. But, so, so, so what type of politics uh, then are you, are you uh, preaching? Uh, 60 of years of independence. Shouldn't we be fighting hunger? Shouldn't we be fighting the high cost of living? We should be saying which no, we shouldn't be inciting because yeah. if we do, in my yeah. politics are in that they were good, but we'll, we'll uh, have uh, tags. And, and I want to appreciate you, and that's the route you have taken as a party of PND. Let's focus to do with the issue of poverty. That's the biggest enemy of this country. That's why I keep on emphasizing using this platform, Costa, that let's not use words which are bad. Okay? This is just, just a genuine I'm talking to each and everybody. Because you are dealing with the people, 23 years, 10 years of PF, who made strong. It is Edgar Chagwalung who made the European decaders to become strong and vicious. It's not that kind of claim. It's because what we went through. So our responsibility. So you has, agree that your cadres are, are, are vicious. Uh, uh, let me tell you who made us to become vicious. But, but you, so they are thugs. Uh, let me tell you who made us to be vicious first mm. of all. Mm. It's the way how Edgar Lungu treated us. Mm. But our responsibility. That's what I've said. I've used these two words. When you hear Prenda Kainde is talking about you are on your own, it comes to us. That's why we are refraining most of us. If you have seen most of the cases at the UPND, tender kujere. Ask everybody will tell you. We never come to complain here. Most of the cases us, the UPND members we make, tend up to court at Kujere. Do you know why he's doing that? The purpose of unity and peace. And our responsibility as leaders in UPND is to preach like a pastor every day to each and everybody. But also the opposition has the mandate because the stakeholders of development of this country, of the government of this country, it is their duty also to help us also that what we bring out should unite and bring mm. us together. What well, despite, mm. Costa, mm. despite having the challenges of hunger, mm. uh, challenge, this challenge we have, but at the end of the day, the issue of unity and peace, mm. they have responsibility also. What are 
we bring on the table to the people of Zambia, mm. collectively, all of us. They have got wounds. Even me, I've got wounds, Costa. I've got my own wounds here. But what have I done? Because I've been spoken to. So we continue to speak to our young people every day to ensure that there's peace, there's unity, mm. so mm. that you can connect. And last mm. I want to say on this, the same issue. Mm. Costa, you have seen that the majority Zambians today, they're talking. They are saying anything about UPND. We are happy as a party. Mm. Now, when a youth chairperson, I'm scared that probably we're going back to a situation like we saw before August of 2021, where people as powerful as yourself now are the law unto themselves. What do I mean? We see that the police are scared to do their job and they get instructions from the party. How do we justify this? That the police, in full view of cameras, fail to act on your people, unless the president says, police, can you go and arrest them, and you hold a press briefing, and equally start helping the police identify the members who were involved. So if you don't make that move, the police will not do anything. No, no. So in short, you are the law unto yourself, Mr. Uh, Youth Chairman. And I'll tell you that, mm. and I want to recommend even the police, that, for not that, doing their job? Let me do, I want, no, no, no. I would recommend them. <coughs> Even the actions I've taken upon. I don't want somebody to go to jail who is innocent. You take the right person. Okay? The issue of the day, it was two-way. The other group, the other group. But at the end of the day, we take responsibility ourselves as a party. To say what happened that day was not supposed to be happened. We take that responsibility as a party. The police do their job. For the first time, I want you to ask this issue to the police officers, if there's anybody getting instruction from the party. Compare them with the way we conduct ourselves. If my youth has made a crime which is bondable, I can tell, as we spend five days, the opposition they spend only one hour, two hours, the case which is bondable. As we spend seven, seven days, I want to. I want That's to tell you this. That's not true. I'm telling you. That's not true. I'm telling you. Uh, just, just last the, week, the case. Uh, Edith Nawakwe, Danny me, Pule, they didn't spend two hours. Let me, let me tell they you. They didn't spend two no, hours. No, no. They spent days. Let me tell in you. police cells. If the case is bondable, if the case is bondable, investigation <coughs> there, we go there in a good way. Ask all police officers. I've gone there in a good way. If this case is bondable. Give us. They will tell you that we are still first investigating about this matter. Yes, it's bondable. There's still an issue here. Let's investigate when we finish. What is it, these people? We go there and beg. I'm not using how my colleagues were doing to use force on them. I've never done that. I normally comply. I'm not using my office as a national news chairman. Why do I do so? It's because I don't want to do what my colleagues were doing when they were in government. There are certain things I'm learning from there. We need to work together. Despite being a police officer, he's a Zambian. So I should respect his job. We work together. We ask, what about this? Can we move in this way? So if my youth are the one who have committed the crime, I have a right to identify. I should show commitment, me who is leading them. I should show commitment to help, to say these are the culprit. But before that, the party itself, through our leadership, do they task us. That's why I've said here, the measures the party is putting in place now is to expel. Because my youth but as I choke up my reserve chita food. But when you expel, you are distancing from self from bad eggs. They have my bad eggs in Dani when the Munkari woke. And you can say that now the leadership now and the part becomes strong and discipline comes. You should not see any violence. And we are trying our best to do so. I'm not saying that completely to say that my youth were opened, all of them, that the Messiah. No, I have got one. So no so, matter how you so, do so, it, so when you say one. when you say you're expelling, uh, how do you explain the, the aspect of people like your um, elected party official, Bruce Kanema, threatening President Edgar Lungu. Again, will you justify that because Edgar Lungu is inciting? Uh, again, two years, eight months of the UPND. Mm. We're beginning to see, one, something that we didn't want. It was voted out. Two, a new law in Zambian politics that a lawmaker, an MP, can be abducted and party officials in the ruling party are mentioned <laughs> as being part of the scheme to abduct one J.J. Banda. What type of politics, really, are you playing as a UPND? Uh, Costa, I will mm. tell you that. I'll marry the two. Yeah. Uh, the issue of Bruce Kadema, a 
first have told you that Edgar Lungu carries two status. He has gone into politics. So if you go to politics, expect such kukuza. You are going to politics. Costa, if I come here and start massaging something here, I will be a liar to you. But mm -hmm. being a young leader who has been in this game, which you, you know, and I, I keep on saying that I've grown through you people. Mm -hmm. 20 years this year in politics, I've seen these leaders, all of them, how they are behaving. I'm happy Prenda Kaine is changing the narrative now that the young people should be responsive to whatever we are doing. We are happy. For me, I'm very happy the state are kind of taking place to ask the young people of this nation. But I will tell you that there's nothing in UPND, even in Mwinde today I sleep, Trevor Mwinde cannot abduct anybody. No matter how somebody will tell me, he can't do that. But because the case is still in the hands of the police, but I will tell you, Kaja Kanalika Soero, those young, well, first of all, what does he have? What value does he have to this nation? Even the political alone, what does he have, JJ? I've seen four few individuals used there in parliament. It's not that parliament follows anything. And even these young people, when you look at them, do they represent us, Costa? Maybe I throw it to you. Engage us one by one, what because you inform, you educate, and also entertain us. So as, when a, look about as, that as, as a party, especially so, so, from a youth perspective, you, you distance yourself. Let me tell you, and there's nothing like that. Mm. Understood? That's not politics. You want to dent Trentakai. We have no time for that. The government of UP has no time to go and abduct somebody. Mm. We have no time for that. But if you talk about you talk the politics. But let's leave everything in the hands of the police. If Trevor will be found wanting, we have no choice. He'll be arrested. If you find one thing, let me arrest it because that's not the police and the stand of the UPND. President Akainde Chilem and his team, they have done a lot cost which I can go and share with the people on the ground every day. It's our responsibility as party leaders, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Even in Petaoke. Today, as I speak to you, every word today, there is at least something which this government is doing, a project there. Mm -hmm. you, by you, the you, 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 you say. While others will say you claim that there's development going through, let, let, let me ask it to you in this way. Part of the reason why President Edgar Chagwalungu feels he needs to come back into politics and the formation of, of UCA, which seems to be giving you, the UPND, sleepless nights, is that you have failed on your campaign promises. You promised an end to load shedding. We are now suffering 12, 14 hours of load shedding in a day. You promised a reduced cost of living. The cost of living, the cost of petrol is, is so high. You promised to reduce youth unemployment. You've only managed to boast of the teachers and the nurses. So people are suffering in the compounds. You mix with the people, you know what I'm talking about. So your solution to an opposition that tells you that they want to come back to sort out the economy is to beat them, is violence. F first of all, no one beats the, the opposition. Costa, they are mingling, they meet, they do all these things. They are not, you know, uh, they are not being allowed even to hold rallies. Yesterday, Fred uh, uh, Membe uh, uh, failed to hold a rally. Last week, Shalakateka failed to hold a rally. And let me you are denying you this, them. And let me tell you so this. you have no solutions for the and people you have you failed. This, and before I answer that, mm. uh, that question, in terms of a rally, the police will give you what they stand for. Their responsibility is to protect the citizen. I am not a police spokesperson, and I think uh, uh, Vali spokes for the police should come on this to come and explain why you are not giving public rallies to the opposition. But I will tell you, even us as UPND, last year we were supposed to have what we call celebration to do with the two years in government, we were denied. The other 2022 were denied, but the problem as we, the party in government, we never complain to the media to say we are being stoned. But in terms of organizing our political parties, collective, all of us, all political parties in Zambia, everybody is organizing. 
if we were not organizing the opposition, I don't think Mr. Edgar Chagwalongo would have gone down with that grouping. I don't think the UKWA SP today can participate in these other elections because they have people. We are organizing collectively, all of us, even us, we are organizing the door to door campaign, even them that are doing the same. So that one, we'll leave it to the police themselves. Why are they not giving? But to us as a party, I have no time. Even if they give them rallies or what, the party is intact. We know what we do. And we have seen that the numbers, like in Osaka, we have more numbers. Uh, they were saying we are dead in Osaka. We are there. We are alive because we are doing do to do campaign. We are there. Come the cost of living, we have admitted as a party in government. The president himself had admitted, say yes, it's a fair thing, but we are working on to these challenges. The issue of road shedding cost, you know, demands. Yes, we promise to all these things, but it's about investment at the end of the day. And these are the things which Prenda and his team are trying to, to fix all these things for us to see the better life tomorrow. It's better today we fix all these things so that tomorrow don't talk about it. Yes, the bag of minimum is expensive. We have put other things to ensure that the people of Zambia they can afford. The residents has come. The winter means is being done there. We cannot have a cheaper minimum if all of us don't till the land. Cost I want to say that last year government tried by almost giving inputs fertilizer everywhere and the people of Zambia responded to the call for his excess like in the chamber that let's till the land. But unfortunately we lost it all of us because of the drought. Should we stop? No. This drought should teach us again how do we do it to so that tomorrow. So we have this challenge to February to March, but this government is committed. That's why we have signed today every word today. There's free food going there. There are certain projects that have been stopped today to ensure that no one should go and sleep with hunger. You have seen this government now increasing even the social cash transfer because almost 6.6 6 .6 million have been affected with this. But they have increased to 2 million. single mothers. Oh, in court, it has gone to 800 kwacha to caution all these problems which we are facing today. So this government is committed that no one should go and sleep with hunger. So we, there we understand, we have admitted that the party, but the kind has admitted, but he has seen, he has told it through his press conference, these are the things which he's trying to put in place. My, my point, now I'm my, saying, my, my, I'm my going point, back to the, to the just question. Just allow me, my point exactly then, Mr. Lisman, is this, that surely when we've got all these problems that you're admitting to, mm -hmm. shouldn't our focus, Especially as a youth chairperson, young people, shouldn't our focus be on sorting out these problems? Should you not be rallying the youth to be innovative, to be solution makers, rather than you now saying, I'm not, no, I'm no, not weak. No, no, I'm we, saying. We start climbing buses and things <laughs> like that. Surely, uh, are, are these the politics? And, and I'll say this. Through youth empowerment also, you have seen that today all the cost is 156. Young people now have gone into welding, so skills and training. This is what, that's why we are committed. That's why I but said, they have no power to let, do that. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Mm. Yes, but they should have gone to school first. Mm. Let's give power because, number one, we should understand this country. The majority of us didn't go to school. Not because we wanted it, because we could not afford. You could not go and you could not finish your school because of just to pay exam fee. The great of exam fee, young people could not go to school, everything shattered there. But this government, through free education, we are seeing the young people now. <coughs> Ten years from now, we are going to appreciate the vision of Prenda Kainde We are going to have a young people of innovation on their own, creating employment on their own. But today, it's very difficult because where we are coming from. And this is what I kind of say. That's why I said, in the two years, did you see these people? Because we are pushing all these violent, these youths who want to be sad, to push them into activities there so that at the end of the day we sort out all these challenges you're talking about and I want to assure you that that is the focus of the National Youth Chairman. Allow me to just ask something there. In two years you say yes we did not see this but I remember describing this problem even under MMD or PF. The issue of um, carders in markets, bus stops, the issue of vendors because every time the law wanted to move in either to remove the vendors or the carders 
they would be up in arms to say, this is a vote. We won't vote for you. So it, it, it was a cash 22 that the politician was, was afraid. Mm. You were bold enough as a party to move them. Mm. But did you have a solution that when we move them from where their bread and butter is? Because yes, whether they were breaking the law, for them it was a job. That is where they were making their money. At least mm. if I'm in the market, I'm in the bus stop, I, I, I go home with something mm. in my pocket or in my hand. Mm. So you've robbed, you've moved them out of there as a solution to bring back law and order, but creating a bigger problem. So where have you taken these views? First of all, I'll I hope tell you understand. You yeah, I understand mm -hmm. you, Costa. The, from, that's the challenge I'm having as your national youth chairman. Because from 1964 to 2021... When you say uh, as yes. your national, I'm yeah, not for, your PNB. Uh, no, no. no. Uh, uh, you, you are not good. <laughs> you are, as long you're a young here, I'm, I'm not, in charge. I'm, uh, <laughs> you are a, as long I'm in charge of your Costa, I'm your leader. <laughs> Uh, just admit that I'm your leader. You are the UPND. You, you, the, you, you, the, you are the UPND National Costa. Youth Chairman. Are you aware so that don't say I'm sitting, as your chairman? No, no. I'm saying, are you aware that I sit uh, in that committee which mm. makes decision in the party? So even today, mm. where ch who is the chairman of that is Prendaka in the party? Mm. In the party. So, the sadly, both you and me have passed the youth yeah, age bracket. So we are in charge. So, so, so it's I'm okay. in charge. But, but, but let's answer that problem. So I'm just saying that mm. even you, if you challenge mm. it, table it here, yeah. I'll take it to the party, the president, to say, mm. this is the challenges my colleague Costa is facing out, mm. because I'm in charge of you. So I didn't say I'm in here. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> so hear I'm your answer on, on, on where we move moved them uh, from correct. the bus stops and the market. So, so where have we taken here, them? The issue here is that we cannot do wrong things. Councils with collecting money in the markets we had issue to do with street rights issue to do with the water and the company, drainages, all these things, we need to start from somewhere as a part in government. Because these are the things which most Zambian people are complaining. Here is a cadre, has nothing, he goes to the market, and Botenga and Rama Zawa, they have been a business series. I am stationed, I live very well, and Botenga and Rama, you can tell her. But because that's how political parties were feeding their own cadres, legal mining, that's how they were taken. But today, Prenda Kahindechi must open to each and every bird. I know a number of opposition leaders today were owning this mining. I have seen other UPN also having this mining. It's open for every bird. But all these things we leak. Is not a good thing? It's a good thing. Because let people participate. Let people do it. Don't hide it. In the markets, stay away. If you want to be in the market, have your own shop there. Have your own bus, bus there. That's why now you go to CEC with your proposal, then go in a bus station, go in a market, and have something at the end of the day. The responsibility of every youth today now, or his job, is to question his government to say that, what are you giving us to empower What us? programs do you have so, for these youth? So, Did you do an audit of how many uh, you, you took out of the markets and uh, bus stops? Uh, and I'll ask, where have you taken them? Let say, mm. the youth are there. They have said, if they have nothing to do, they have said, most of these costs we have 156. I don't care whether they're coming from either from PF, members of parliament, 156 constituencies through our members of parliament. I'm happy with them because they have taken that initiative, all of us take it. We need to take first our young people to do skills and training. They are participating now in the infrastructure to do with the issue of sin to do with to Makrins Manga, Masko Manga. These young people are going to find them that they are participating in these other things. So stay away from the markets. A Muzmai Watu in a capital of 500 kwacha. Every day, Kazimu Vuta Kazuku Pasa 20 kwacha. Niacha. kwacha. Niya chani. Uino na manje niwe mkuru nae mnyamata. Go nae we ugure repu yako ndo ugurisi. That's why kulivusuru ku CEC. Rembesa. That's why ku CDF. Ku, 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 ku the component of empowerment ya ndrama ya loni. Ya metinga tenga ma women na ma youth. It's there. There's a grant there. These are the things which we are doing to the young people, pushing them to go and work. Yes, the number is big, as I've said, that <coughs> this UPN, President Kainde Chilema, is dealing with the young people who wants to live a good life now, who wants to do things now. But President Kainde is creating a foundation that will stand the test of time for this nation. But all of us collectively, we need to support his vision. We need to support him because it's beneficial to us, all of us. Mm. That's, that's so so you've I'm mentioned doing. about CDF, CEEC, you've mentioned about grants and other things that you're doing for youth empowerment plus skills training and development there's also a, a concern 
in the procedure or processes of these empowerment projects, that there's quite a lot of favoritism, nepotism. The president has so often said, as long as you're Zambian, you're qualified, uh, and you've got the capacity, you'll get these jobs and you'll get um, uh, through uh, and, and access these benefits. Uh, but tell us this, people are complaining that it's not as free. You are saying here tonight that uh, it's open for all, but there are concerns of nepotism uh, and, and favoritism. Mr. Youth Chairperson. And I'll tell you this, that we have seen UPND cadres in some areas whereby they go to the office of the DC, they go to the office of the council chairman, saying, complaining to say, we haven't given us, we are giving these other people. It's a challenge everywhere. But what is important that people are getting these loans. And I want to use this platform also that we, the city the community, can we have meetings with our area councillors? Can we have meetings with what we call the WDC chairman? Let's know what comes into your word. When the MP calls for a meeting, wherever it is, <coughs> go to that meeting and find out what is happening there. A lot of young people and women, they want to wait that a councillor will come and give them on their doorstep. No. All these things, we access them when there are meetings. You put your challenges, you put your cooperative. For the first time in this nation, I say a lot of people are in cooperatives. Costa, you know that in 2021, 2022, 2023, people are talking about too much cooperative and nothing. But if you have noticed now, no one's talking too much about cooperative being neglected because our areas, member of parliament, councillors, they have taken over to ensure that this cooperative, they benefit from the CDF. There may be favoritism, it's not everybody, but we also look about the huge amount of this is coming there. In Usaka it's very difficult. And I want to use this platform also to say Costa, CDF in Usaka maybe we should change it because a lot of Usaka here is about selling within their homes. Maybe we should put more money into grants and loan. So that if 30.6 million, maybe 20 million should go into business, then the people of Usaka they are able to say the CDF is working. Why am I saying so? In Usaka we have clinics which are near, we have uh, uh, hospitals near, uh, we have also what we call maybe uh, schools are near. Now, maybe let's talk about what other things is failing in Osaka which we need. Is it drainages? Let's look into it. Is it maybe to my dust road? We need it so it's clean. Let's look, but a lot of young people, this is the message I'm getting at the grassroots level. When having meetings with women and the youth are saying, Drama Zambi is in the Kuraka Pena Magreda, all these things. Why can't we bring this money into our small businesses so that we can do something? But but in the rural area. You, you're the party in power. No, no. So, uh, first so of all, it's about what you get on the on mm. the people. So you're all making those suggestions, suggestions to your government? E exactly. Mm. Mm. Now, 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 Mr. Youth Chairperson, apart from the 33,000 teachers, the 11,300 health workers, those taken up uh, in the in the service uh, institutions, would you be able to give us a number, roughly, of how many so far have benefited or are earmarked to benefit in some of these projects you're talking about? Let, let What's me, the target? Let, let me say this first. In Osaka and Copper Bay, in the urban area, these are political. As I said, we as a party UPND appeal to the president that let's look first of all how do we do with the CDF in terms in town. Let's have an, uh, uh, let's assess what kind of project do we have in our compounds, which is very near to our people. But this government of European one wants to at least every village should be a bowl of water, so, which in the rural part I've seen it. UPND is doing very well in the part in terms of infrastructure, the young people participating, I have no issue there. And that can still be beneficial. You can see that in a group of 50, 40 of young people who have taken a grant or loan, there are those who want to get it. The other team saying, no, Zagavana, this money we are going to put a pump water there so that we can do irrigation there. These things, I've seen it. But in Osaka, we need to change so that the people are able to see the money that is working to them, despite having graders in my in Matero, everywhere, but we should change on that way. To give a number, say yes, we haven't reached that number. I've said this country is about the young people, but we are trying by almost that a lot of young people get something out of their government. My role as a nationalist I mean, just to rob to the, the environment of doing business and everything, the young people should access it. We had a challenge with the that I listened to whereby we have engaged, we are engaging them that my business I could go off and I was scanned. 
Kenya. Ama bagi, wovala. Can you come in? Let's, we can't be charging high, uh, high taxes on these young people. These are just small businesses. We are engaging. And when they are crying, I go back and talk to the relevant authority to say, these are the things which people on the ground are crying. How do we help them? Come with a number, then on the day, government should collect. These are the things we are doing. So yes, in terms of employment, government is trying by all means. 30,000 itself, 40,000. For me, it's a big number, which was not there. Because through census, that's what we came to realize that there was no job, no one was getting the job. Mm. Since I exposed us as you paint to say we have a lot of responsibility to ensure that the young people get these opportunities. Mm. And that's why Prince Kainde is busy day in and day out. Mm. Let, let, opening me, up let, 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 let me get the back people. let me get back to the president's press conference, you know, last week. The president came out very strong, very hard. But also, what was worrying was that, uh, really, if the police are failing, we might even trigger bringing on to the streets the army to control the situation. Now, when the army takes over or comes in, really, then that, that, that you know that a republic is failing if, 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 if the army has to come to that. Now, I, I give that you know analogy because the next day the opposition through uh, you know citizens first and president harry kalaba responded to the president's you know press conference saying in his address the president was dictatorial so he's a dictator he's taking us into a failed military state he's not allowing rallies he's arresting opposition members of parliament and the fact that he says he's trying to stiffen tribal hate speech law that if you are caught wanting you go in for a very long time is targeting uh, members of the opposition in conclusion they have actually labeled you the UPND a first one term party let me start with the last one mm. and I'll end with what you said first of all UPND is not in government for one term there's no need for UPND today to spend one term when we spend almost 23 years in opposition to fight to give a good leadership to the people of Zambia and which we have demonstrated through President Akainde HLM. That's why for us we don't care about the 2026. The issue is the election will come in 2026. Akainde is not pleasing anybody but is targeting to ensure that he put in place a thing to stand a test of time. Prenda Akainde to us as UPND is making foundation for the party UPND to run this country for more than 23 years. Costa, we are still here with you for a while. Just get used with UPND, Bakalabandi, everybody, that we are here for a while. We cannot speak. Are you, are, you, are you in a political illusion, Mr. Uh, and, 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 and I still we, 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 heard, we heard the I PF say we'll, we'll rule for 50 years. Let me tell the you. The MMD said the same. So the issue ha is have you drunk political, we are using po po the political wine that, that drunkens you politicians not to see reality on the ground? We are using the success of Akainde HLM for us to run this country for more than 23 years. Mm. Okay? That's why I've seen that when all of these young uh, politicians, they make a lot of noise, they focus to develop this country. Today, Costa, the two years, UPN is not sleeping. Citizen, Zambian people, civil society organization, church leaders, you talk about church leaders, they are punching the kind of left and right and UPND. You may think us, we are unhappy. We are happy because if you leave us loose, we may sleep. But you pay no sleeping because you are talking. That's the democracy we're talking about. Democracy should not be only seen to the Swaniso and Mr. Karava. No, it's about the citizen. Are they participating in a church? They are participating. They are calling, are they you, participating? They are calling you a one-term party because you've brought poverty uh, let me tell into you. Zambian homes. Uh, the one when, who you, brought, when, when you promised... Uh, the one who you brought poverty is Shiba, their boss. Well, 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 no, <laughs> I'm talking about the Zambian people. They say you lied to them. No, and, and I'll say this. That's where the one-term no, no, party no. The issue, is, issue is coming we, from. from that it will be the people to vote you out Let me because tell you, you lied on your campaign. 2026 is coming, mm. Costa. There's nothing to worry. 2026 is coming. There's nothing to worry the, that, that a bag of millimil is fetching over 350. Why this There's nothing to worry that a liter of petrol is at 35 kwacha. There's nothing to worry that uh, load shedding is 12 hours, Mr. Uh, and the, the question should be mm. are we committed mm. to address all these challenges we are facing today? That's the answer to the Zambian so people. The Zambian who are people saying now, that they'll vote them. you out because. So, you write to them. If Zambian people 
collective, all of them that speak here every day, if they are complaining, does not tell you they hate you, and they love you. There are only two, uh, two questions I've heard in the street. Mm. We cannot talk about free education. But what you are talking is about It's okay. And we have admitted it. We are dealing with this matter now. That's why I was giving those examples from the beginning. That last year, we did well as government and also the people of Zambia responding that we should have a lot of maids in this country, but a drought has come. So what cost I want to say to that? This government of Akainde Chilema, we are committed to address all these challenges and also I'm appealing to the citizens of this country. Continue talking, talking, checking up your president. He's listening every day, talking, talk, talk, talk. All we have asked Costa mm. to ask members of the UPND, to those in opposition, let's not insult. Two, let's not use tribal. You use that tribal when we're in opposition. It can't work. It can't work Costa this time because the people all they want is just Costa near our phone. They'll go with Costa. Mm. So let's not use tribal. If a young person, a young lady who is a mother, an area member of parliament, a mother who understands the pain, you want to champion tribalism. Then I'm, I'm scared. What kind of a young people we hear? The issue address the challenges which is happening. Talk about it. Tribalism cannot work in this country, but because it can destroy the head of state because he wants peace and unity. He may, but let's help him. If we don't add these other laws, we personally as politicians, including myself, let's help him. Maintaining peace does not only belong to soldiers, police. It is us, the citizen, you, the media, all of us collectively. What are we championing collectively, all of us? Is this thing destroying or building? This is what I'm putting to everybody. Church leaders, traditional leaders, what do you want to put in place? For me, I stand very firm that this country should unite all of us. But let's do our politics. Let UPN be checked. Hakaim has never refused to be checked. Do checks and balances. They and they, yeah, I have no issue to that because I've seen Hakaim go in the Mandev. When, there's, when they say there's hunger, he went there. And I chose to my Pamela. Anybody was beaten? No. They're in Berlin. And the stage, women, time of PF, we are gone. But we said, no, leave them, they speak. These are the owners. So we, we have gone through that. All we are asking, let's not divide one another. We think I'm kind of like a beef, but let's mind what we are saying. Even me, I should not insult leaders, my fellow colleagues in the opposition. I should give them respect. There are certain things which I cannot know, which they have seen. I'm able to communicate to the president. Let's move in that way. That is what I want to hear from all civic uh, organizations. They need to that. Ah, these are the wrong things. Speak your mind. But where I'm against is to divide this nation. I can give an example of seeing Western, every, all these areas. I've stood firm. Because what? we are young leaders. This country belongs the to the nationalist Africa. youths, for example, in Mongo feel abandoned, that you have abandoned the people due to the stance on the Barotsaland issue. Uh, you have been frequenting, you know, Western province of late. I know you're going back there. There's a by-election mm -hmm. in Sukongo. How do you respond to this? Is, is, is there a warm relationship between this UPND administration and uh, the Barotsaroy establishment? First of all, Prenta Kainde has no issue with any traditional leader, like the church. It's to work together. It's to work together. It's to foster development. But those young people, for me, they are my fellow politicians. In opposition, Costa, they were supporting to the Edgar Lung to come back to the presidency. They went round. Who they worked with him. So when I see them, I don't see young people as I'd say we want to secede from Zambia. They had a close relationship with Edgar Chagwalung. Why didn't he give them the country called Baros? I went to Western Province, campaigning constituents by constituents, promising development near to them. The school today which they have, the Shekano Mini Hospital. I talk about Indanda School there. One of the things which we, we campaigned there. So when I see few individuals using the same strategy, I'm saying no to it. I've put in my head on a chopping board, and I still repeat here, no secession under UPND. I'm coming from Western Province. The job of Predaka in Dechilema, which I can only differ with him, even me, if you don't give me a road from Lukul, that's a promise we made.
is the road from Seshek is not done, and then that's the credit he has. The Monovez road, Seshangombo road, the Skongo road, which I know all this which I've mentioned. He has already given us Rwanginga road, a bridge. These are the promises we made to the people of Western province called Baros. But these young people and a few individuals in opposition, including him, the former head of state, he wants to support a wrong thing. When he was the head of state, he was to do. Goes Kuriba Membe. You want to support the wrong thing. Now I'm saying this. You go across the country and the end of our question, I want to hear that from them. I want to hear from them. If you see that president is going to be voted. Here President Kaya is talking about give back power to the people themselves. And he has demonstrated through CDF. The problems which are facing Costa in Western province are the same problem which are in Wapula. Are the same problem which is in northern Uchinga, eastern, southern, central, Osaka, everywhere. Let's give chance a kind of chilema, to give development. Our responsibility, we who are coming from this region, is to ensure that Akainde gives what belongs to us. And the share play. And I conclude to say this to you, Costa to say that. Mm. My stance remains the same. Everybody will be on a queue, but those who want to use shortcut to eat, and I'm twisting the kind of chairman. As long as my national chairman, even me, I'll say no to him to say, give equal opportunity to each and everybody. Mm. Gilbert, That's the Gilbert Lisson is a youth chairperson of the UPND. Thank you so much for coming through to Costa this evening. Thank you very much, Costa. There you have it. We've been discussing the recent ugly happenings in the capital of young people taking to the streets and finding out from the youth chairperson who says he's in charge of this particular movement and obviously assuring us that peace and uh, the rule of law and order definitely will be restored. The president asking the police to move into arrest. Over 80 so far arrested after that um, strong message from the president uh, was issued to police. We watch the space. Thank you so much. Good night and let's have a peaceful Republic Zambia. Trident Limited.